Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Let's go, Fred. Real quick, I got two things that y'all need to put on your calendars. Number one, October 27th, Ducks Waterfowl. Uh-huh. We're doing a big old drop. Bunch of new hoodies. Uh, variations of the old school camo hoodies coming out. Uh, some new beanies. Some new cold gear hats. Oh, yeah. Don't miss that. And then November 3rd through the 6th, we're doing... 30% off, 30 to 40% off, I forget. It might be 40%. 30 to 40% off everything on the Ducks Waterfowl website. Again, November 3rd through the 6th. Put both of these dates, the 27th, 3rd through 6th, on your calendars. Go check it out. Ducks is always linked down in the description below. If it's not a sale, you can also use code BOB, Bob at checkout, to save some money. I do not have much time to talk right now. It's sitting at uh, approximately <laughs> approximately 27 degrees. It is very cold and uh, it is welcomed. I'm at the public walk-in marsh. Uh, it is a Tuesday morning and I can already see, I don't know, five, seven trucks. There's some guys getting out here. I figured there would be because of this big cold front. Like I said, I'm gonna hurry up. Today I brought my Mossberg pump 410 and I have the shot cam on it. So hopefully everything goes good there I'm not the best with a pump action shotgun y'all know that so we'll see what we can do I brought my buddy Mike with me. You haven't seen him for a long time uh, So we got quite the little trick. I'm gonna put the camera down uh, It will be GoPro on the hat and shot cam footage. We'll be standing in the water. You guys know the deal Thank you all for being here. If you're new subscribe um, if you're new to duck hunting, subscribe because I'm always giving my tips. Um, so, let's get after it. Uh, it is a brisk morning and my hands are already cold. <laughs> well, big turn of events, uh, fellas and gals. Uh, that hunt did not work. Uh, it was fair weather. There was nothing special going on as far as weather. And it's a week later, right at a week later. And we finally have, you can hear, I'm sure, we finally have some rain. I'm sure you can hear the rain hitting the windshield. So if you guys were here, uh, that last solo hunt I did when I came in the rain by myself late in the morning, right now it's sitting at 8.13 a.m. Same thing I did last time, wait for some rain, a cold front morning, wait for a break in the rain and just go out late and it was really good. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing, to replicate that. Now, we're getting ready to pull up to the, to the marsh and it won't take me long <clears throat> to, uh, to see if there's birds here. Because that day when we opened this video, there wasn't a dang bird. We didn't fire a gun. So uh, we'll see how much has changed in a week. I always say, Cold fronts, rain, new birds, go hunt. Uh, I think this video is going to be called The Truth Behind Trying to Make a Hunting YouTube Video, right? Uh, we're getting to the end of October and uh, it's crazy to think that it would even possibly be this hard to find some ducks. But... Um, Oh, Austin, Bond's daddy called me yesterday. We gabbed for a while and he was just like, we don't have any ducks around, Bob. Me and Andrew's been trying to hunt. There's nothing. And uh, <clears throat> I met uh, a buddy now, new buddy, uh, yesterday here at the marsh. Right when I got off the camera with you guys, I put it down and uh, he pulled up. He was decked out in ducks gear, ducks hat, hoodie. And uh, he was like, can I get a picture? And I'm like, heck yeah. And uh, he's he's from around here. And I was like, man, have you been seeing anything anywhere? He was like, no, dude. I've been scouting every day and I can't find a duck to save my life. So, welcome to a day in the life of Bobby Guy, I guess. Uh, you guys are going to come along with me. I got some new decoys here. Um, it's not just decoys. It's uh, one of the, I would say the most realistic water duck floater motion decoy right it's a spreader it operates many floaters at one time and, and swims them around and it's got a little propeller on it it's freaking neat you guys got to see it 
think I'm gonna start repping it and using it a lot. Um, I wanna try it out. I wanna try it out. But, you know, we don't have a lot of option for public, so. Uh, private, this year, pretty tough for ducks, not gonna lie, this early, so. It is what it is. Keep trying, keep plugging away, right? But yet again, pulling up to the marsh. I'm, gonna, I'm here late for a reason. I was not gonna get up real early. It is 8, 12 a.m. If it's good, it's good. That's what I found out. If it's good here, it's good. It doesn't matter if you show up at nine, you're gonna shoot your birds. Or if it's not good, you show up at the butt crack of dawn and you don't shoot any birds. So I'm gonna pull up, do a little scouting. If I see some birds, we'll walk it in. Okay. Already looking a little better, I guess. Uh, I'm seeing two trucks here at the main entrance. I see one flock of big ducks. Looks like pintails, a group of four. More than I seen yesterday. But, yeah. This, this stuff right here really pisses me off. Guys, if you are young and you know you're a little stupid sometimes and you like to show off for your friends, just remember, this stuff right here, look at it. Someone did a donut in here, a lot of them. Probably 10 goes. Fresh new rock that uh, is public, public provided. Ruined it, ruined it. Completely freaking ruined it. You know what? That's bull. It's right at the check-in site. That's freaking ridiculous. I would hope that your parents raised you better than that. It might have been a side-by-side, -side, you know? It may not have been a kid. I really hope it's not a full-grown adult. That stuff right there will, in fact, ruin, ruin it for everybody. Dude. If I ever seen my boy do something like that to public property or something, I will take his hunting rights away from him, his truck away from him, his phone away from him. That's bull. It's a lot of other places to do some stupid stuff like that. This is not one of them. This, you, this is vandalism. In fact, this is vandalism because it's a brand new blanket of white rock providing a nice dry parking lot in a very wet area and whoever did this, you just came and completely trashed it. That is freaking vandalism. I didn't equate myself with stupid people that did this stuff. I don't do dumb stuff. Neither should you. Use your brain, guys. Goodness. Makes me want to just go on an hour-long ramp. Man, never ends. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, Frederick, he's wanting to hunt pretty bad. So we're on the uh, east side of the entire property now, basically a mile over from the other uh, parking lot. Check it out. The other parking lot, just like it, brand new rock, and not as bad. Uh, this looks to me like a side by side. It's real, real narrow. A lot narrow. A lot narrower wheelbase than a truck. Oh, here's where it started. Ah, it's either, ah, that's a truck. That's, that's definitely a truck, okay. All right, yeah, pickup truck. Did both of them, same guy, guaranteed. Same guy, and now I've done a whole loop twice around the whole place. There's skid marks everywhere, donuts in the intersections, uh, fish tailing around every possible corner. Looked like he went in the ditch in one area, so... Go potty, Fred. Go potty. Just gonna let y'all know, this stuff here... This stuff here... This rock costs a lot of money. I know. I just rocked my entire driveway with the same stuff uh, last year. And it literally cost about $15,000. I bet this parking lot right here was... A couple grand, 2500 bucks for this rock same with the other one you know that's our tax money this is our property the public come on like why 
that just pisses me off it really does and it ought to it ought to piss all of us off out there that's trying to do the right thing teach your children i know a lot of you do i'm not saying you don't we got some good folks out here we got some great mothers and some great fathers i know it i've met a lot of you fathers myself uh coming and hunting with me or whatever or you guys you know talking to y'all in the comments but tell your friends if you see them do some bullshit like this you tell them don't ever do that again you're gonna ruin it for everybody this is the type of stuff now now maybe it wasn't a hunter maybe it was some drunk idiot you know from town that came out here and did that i i have to say it could be but this stuff right here will lock this place down because they're not going to keep dumping money in it if people just want to come out here and trash it come on oh gee many christmas pretty frustrating pretty frustrating to say the least i don't know maybe it's just because i'm a dad and a grown man and i think that people shouldn't do that and it makes me wonder why what would make people want to do that it's like go in your own front yard and do that go in your own driveway and do that go in your parents backyard and do that go on your dad's freshly planted wheat field and do that oh you won't well, why not? That was freshly groomed parking lot, public, paid by all of us. What's the difference? That's what I'm talking about. Have some darn common sense, use your brains, and I know a lot of you do. I, I, I'm not directly talking to any of you, just kind of at everyone. Anybody who needs to hear this, anybody, let me put this better. If you need to tell somebody about this, like, hey, stop being stupid. Maybe this is your reminder just to remind them, hey, stop doing stupid stuff. You're gonna get us in trouble. You're gonna get us kicked out. You're gonna get us banned. You're gonna ruin hunting for everybody in the area. That's my point and I'm sticking to it. Guys, spread the good word. Let's be respectful. Let's be um, what, what we claim to be as hunters. If we don't, why are we, why? It, it just, we have to do this these days. We have to be who we think we are, who we say we are, and that's respectful human beings who abide by the rules, right? Guys, don't forget uh, the 27th coming up, October 27th. October 27th, we're having a huge drop at Ducks, bunches of new hoodies, beanies, hats, cold gear stuff dropping, and then November 3rd through the 6th, huge site-wide sale happening, guys. Our biggest sale we've ever had. 30 to 40% off everything on the site. I believe it's 40% off. I just don't want to say it wrong. I, 30 to 40%. So go over there, check it out. Everything is always linked down below for Ducks Waterfowl. Be respectful out there. Have fun. Be safe. But until next time.